Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be cooking from the official Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas cookbook, making Azero's barbecued ribs. The ingredients I'll be using are two packages or roughly six pounds of pork ribs. I've gone ahead and cleaned them up and cut them into about three ribs per section. For the dry rub, I have a black powder, salt, smoked paprika, granulated garlic, onion powder, and oregano. The recipe does also call for some dry thyme. I'm not a fan of it, so I'm choosing to leave that out. For the barbecue sauce, you'll need some of the Heinz chili sauce, peach preserves, hot sauce, Dijon mustard, apple cider vinegar, and molasses. I will be leaving the amounts down in the description if you would like to make this for yourselves. All right, well, that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these ingredients moved out of the way, and we can start putting the dry rub on the ribs. To start off, I've gone ahead and added the dry rub ingredients into a bowl, and I'll just give these a really good mix. Once the dry rub is completely mixed together, go ahead and coat your ribs with it. These get layered into a roasting pan, and you can slightly overlap them as you go. A little side note here, I did have to adjust the recipe for the dry rub. I found that the amount that they gave is just not enough to evenly coat six pounds of ribs. So I've ended up tripling that portion of the recipe. But I do have them all covered now. They are in my roasting pan. And these are now going to get covered tightly with aluminum foil where they'll bake for about 45 minutes in a 350 degree oven. The ribs have been kicking in the oven for about 45 minutes. I've gone ahead and pulled them out and removed the aluminum foil. I did flip them over and now they're going to go back into the oven for an additional 45 minutes or until they're cooked all the way through. While I'm waiting on the ribs to cook, I'm going to go ahead and start bringing the barbecue sauce together. I've started off by adding the chili sauce into the pan along with the peach preserves, the Dijon mustard, the molasses, the apple cider vinegar, and the hot sauce. These just get stirred together and brought up to a gentle boil. Now that this has reached a gentle boil, I've gone ahead and turned off the heat and I'll move it over to the side and allow it to set until the ribs are ready to be basted. Now that the ribs are done, I've gone ahead and removed them from the roasting pan I had them in and I basted the bottom half of them already with the barbecue sauce. I'm just doing the other side of them. Now that I have them all basted with the barbecue sauce, these are going to go into a 425 degree oven where they'll bake for about five minutes and then I'll pull them out, flip them over, baste them with the remaining barbecue sauce and allow them to go another five minutes in the oven. I'm looking for a nice sticky glaze on these. The ribs are out of the oven and I did allow them to sit on the counter for about five minutes before I went ahead and cut them into serving size pieces. Now all I have left to do is to dive in and try them out, see what I think about them. These turned out really well. They've got a really good flavor to them. I definitely get hints of the dry rub coming through that barbecue sauce, which is not too sweet. There is a bit of heat from the hot sauce that I added into it that I find pleasant. Overall, these are a really good rib, and I would definitely make them again. But that is going to be it for me for the day. If you've enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you tried this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. Have a good girl. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.